Hello everybody, it's Dilek uh, with Nocta Macro Detectors. Uh, I hope you're all doing fine, whatever you are in the world. Now, uh, today, well, right now, I'm going to talk about uh, the beach update that we're going to give. But before I talk about the update, uh, I would like to go over uh, some of the questions that I'm seeing and some of the actually uh, wrong answers to those questions that I'm seeing around. So I would like to correct some of that information going around in groups and stuff and give you the right information. Uh, once I do that, then I'm gonna talk about the update and uh, don't worry, the update, as soon as I'm done with this video, uh, they're doing the final checks uh, and we're going to be posting it on our website after, you know, this video. Okay, so now let me uh, go over a few things. Number one, this is going to be like a Q&A thing. By the way, by the way, if you have any questions, I will please ask you to hold off again until I get done. Uh, and then you can ask me any questions you want and I'll try to answer them. Okay, so number one, resetting the device. Now there is, I believe, a big confusion about this, okay? Uh, many customers are asking how to reset the device. Now what they're referring to is actually uh, restoring the factory defaults, okay? They wanna go back to their factory defaults. Now. And then I see people answering and saying, uh, oh, uh, push and hold the power button for 30 seconds. No, okay? The reset function that we explain in the user manual is not to go back to factory defaults, guys, okay? It's only to be used if the system becomes unresponsive or if for any reason you get a system error message. That's all. Now, if you wanna go back to factory defaults on the legend, you simply delete the user profile and then that user profile reverts back to its factory defaults. If you wanna take everything back to factory defaults in all the user profiles, then you would have to delete each user profile, okay? Uh, I hope this is clear. Now, maybe if you guys, if you customers, our valued customers think that we need, um, you know, a uh, function to, uh, go back to factory defaults with a push of a button, we'll look into that and we can give that, okay, in an update. However, we thought deleting each user profile would be better for the customers so that they don't delete everything, they only delete one user profile and its settings. Uh, I hope that is clear, okay? Now, the other thing, ground balance values. Now, I've been getting messages about this. People think that the, the ground balancing, the ground balance values, the ground phase values are not correct on the legend. And I believe these people are comparing it to our other models, like the Simplex or the Amphibia or the Cruiser, whatever it is. Now, let me explain this. This machine is a is totally different than any of our other machines. Everything is done in a different way in this machine. So when you're ground balancing, if you're getting, let's say 10, 11, okay, on this machine as a value, ground phase value, don't compare it to uh, any uh, other machines that we released before. You may be getting, a, let's say, a 70 on the Simplex, but 10 on this one. They have nothing to do with each other, okay? The most important thing is for you to eliminate ground effect. That's all. As long as the ground effect is eliminated, you don't have to worry about the numbers. The numbers do not correlate in each machine. They're calculated calculated totally differently okay so please please do not uh compare the phase numbers ground phase numbers of the legend with other machines or our other uh models 
It's done completely differently in this machine, okay? So I want to assure you that there's nothing wrong with it, okay? Some people thought because the simplex was, let's say, given a 70, uh, you know, for the same spot, why is this machine g given 10? It's a different machine. It, 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 will need a, uh, it will need a learning curve, okay? So the whole purpose of ground balancing is to eliminate the ground effect. That's what it does, okay? Uh, now... Uh, the other thing, the, okay, so the battery usage. So uh, I see customers being very um, concerned. Let's say they use it for a couple of hours, three, four hours, five hours, whatever, and then they see the battery indicator dropping to one bar, and they were concerned about the battery life. Now, let me explain. The bars on the battery indicator, each bar, they're not equal. So those levels are not linear okay well actually let me say we're not linear because in this update we're giving we're making them more linear because we realize that it's you know creating a confusion it was done purposely that way okay where the last bar would last a lot longer but now that we're seeing it's creating a concern actually in this update we made them more linear so you understand okay um, now, uh, let me see another one. External battery. Uh, I believe people, uh, are concerned that the, that the external battery is not charging. Let me explain you. When you first charge it, it's gonna, it may take a long time. You know, five hours, six hours, whatever. So, uh, please don't get concerned. People didn't know, uh, what the indication was. And I believe it was not part of the manual. That's probably part of the problem where when we update the uh, manual, we will put it in there. So normally when it's charging, the green and the red lights together blinks. And then when the charging is completed on the external battery I'm talking about, then it turns uh, solid green. Okay. So uh, I hope this explains it. Now, um, another thing is the battery, okay, the charging. Now, I'm going to explain this so you guys can understand. So, um, there's a whole confusion about this. With the charging, the indicator not showing the full charge, okay? Now, let me explain you. On the legend, the charging chip itself okay, has different tolerances, okay, and the reason for this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain you this, every batch that we receive with these chips have different tolerances, okay, and because there was, a, well, there still is a chip crisis in the world, okay, as long as we said it doesn't affect the charging itself, as long as it doesn't affect the, uh, you know, battery, um, you know, charge levels or whatever, if the tolerances of this charging chip makes a difference in the indicator itself, it's not a big problem. And we went ahead and, you know, approved all those charging chips because if we didn't, guys, okay, then with the crisis going on we would have to maybe delay things more which we didn't want to now that indicator uh when on some devices okay it all has to do how these tolerances work with our software okay so on some devices okay first of all you must update to 105 now 106 actually soon tonight um most of these, you know, will be fine, you know, the indicators. On some of the units, okay, you may not see the full charge when it's off, okay? But please, when you first plug the charger, charger, make sure the detector is on, okay? Then if you want, you can turn it off, okay? But when you plug it in, okay, make sure it's on, then you turn it off. If, if, I mean, if you're seeing the full charge when it's off and if you're happy with everything, you don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, so I hope this explains it. This has nothing to do again, guys. 
the with the um uh battery uh power or how long it's gonna last or the charging itself nothing is different we're only to talking about how it's indicated on the screen i hope this explains it and i hope this puts an end to the whole discussion okay uh let me see is there anything else that i wanted to discuss uh oh the power uh, the external battery now the question is how does the external battery work can we attach it to the legend you know if the internal battery is uh full so now let me explain you the external battery think of it as a power bank a waterproof power bank so when you attach the external battery it's actually constantly charging the internal battery okay so yes you can attach the power i mean the external battery when the internal battery is full okay you can perfectly do that and the um it's gonna charge the internal internal battery constantly uh so uh, i hope this explains it so think of it as a waterproof power bank okay uh let me see what else okay now let's talk about the update okay <laughs> now number one the update is not 2.68 let me explain you before uh i mean not before uh we we sent this current update that we're gonna give to a few testers around the world okay for them to test it on the beach the beach update that we're given today okay but the way we track updates is different for the published you know like software versus the test ones so we give them different numbers guys okay so you know the legend right now is at 1.05 and we're gonna give 1.06 today okay so you're gonna have 1.06 that 2.68 you saw in the videos were for testers only and actually their testing software did not even include everything okay because now we actually incorporated more into the update we're given today they tested mostly the beach part for us so that that's why it had a different number okay that was the beach update but now today the update we're given includes the beach update as well as other things okay so now i'm quickly gonna go over what has been improved what has been changed in the 1.06 that we're posting today okay number one of course the beach okay the beach mode please pay attention multi wet multi wet and the pinpoint function in the multi wet has been improved and updated and we really believe based on all uh, all the uh, testers feedbacks we really believe everybody will be very happy and satisfied with this update okay so again multi wet in the beach mode and the pinpoint function has been improved and updated you're gonna have a much more you know quiet machine running and uh still very good depth uh but more stable in salt water on wet beach sand and all that and uh i'm very excited about it because i've seen a lot of videos already and uh i got the feedback from all my testers so it's really looking great okay number two now the bluetooth headphones pairing criteria has been changed now what was happening is <laughs> if you had the bluetooth setting on but didn't have your bluetooth headphones on the machine would connect to any bluetooth device we initially thought this wouldn't be a problem maybe but we see that it can create problems so now we have changed that so what's going to happen now is the machine once you pair it with your headphones when you turn your bluetooth on it will search and try to connect to the headphones that you paired them with initially okay so this will actually prevent the device connecting connecting to any other bluetooth device okay 
Uh, but let's say, let's say you want to connect it to another device, then what you have to do, this is explained in the manual, you have to delete that uh, those headphones that you that that it's paired with from memory and then pair it again with another device i hope this explains it i hope it's clear again if there's anything you don't understand you can ask me when i'm done okay this was number two uh okay number three the sensitivity value okay you know, I mean, uh, the screen, on the screen, on the legend display, some, you know, numbers are very small characters and some people have a hard time seeing them. So uh, we were asked whether we could display the sensitivity level where the target ID is. So this uh, update will do that. Now you will see the sensitivity uh, level uh, in the target ID section, okay? Uh, the next one is, the ground phase value okay the ground phase value the ground balance value calculated through automatic and uh, i mean auto ground balancing and tracking will now be saved we were not saving those we're saving them now with this update okay uh the next one is the frequencies were not being saved when you you know turn the device off and on you know, it would default to default to multi, it would default to, I think, dry. Uh, but now, multi one, multi two, uh, multi wet, multi dry, wherever you left it, if you turn your device off and on, it will start uh, with the frequency you last used. Okay? Um, the default number of tones for park and beach have been changed to two tones this is only the default okay value you can always change it to your liking uh the default tone volume level the tone volume level of the ferris tone of the ferris range has been updated per each mode okay um in the ground balance menu uh we you know made some changes with the icons with them blinking and all that and the tones have been updated and improved okay um and the battery bar levels as i mentioned before have been updated to be more linear okay and uh we also cleared a few more minor bugs from the system okay so 10 items have been completed of course Number one being the beach, uh, multi wet update. Uh, we really believe, uh, you're gonna enjoy this update. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. Once you update your devices, please restart the machine. Okay, please turn it off and restart it. Now, any other questions? Well, actually, any questions? I don't see anybody asking a question. Any questions? Oh, wow. I must have uh, done a good job. No questions. Are you clear on everything? Everything that I said, all the updates. When are you gonna accept my friend request? <laughs> you know what? I have probably a thousand friend requests, seriously. Alad uh, Lek will be, uh, will be available, small coil elliptical. Yes, but don't ask me when. We're working on them. When will the manual be updated? Give me some time. Give us some time. It will be, uh, you know, updated. But, you know, just give us some time. Uh, when ground balancing, will it tone when balanced? Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. First class server, thank you. Uh, pinpointer any closer. We're working on it. Uh, well, some messages are scrolling too fast. I cannot follow them. Please, you know, type again. Can we get a multi-tone option on the simplex? This is not about simplex, guys. Will, will there be another update? Yes, there will be another update for the legend. You know, we're going to give more because people are requesting more. Uh, we're going to give uh, more updates. Don't worry about it. There are so many requests. What should the charge rate be for the battery? Two amp? Yeah, I mean, two amp or higher. That's good. Uh, when is my uh, legend shipping? 
Is there a pinpointer for the legend? Again, we're working on one. Uh, will the ferro check be updated? I don't know why the ferro check should be updated because uh, to my knowledge, it's really working great. Uh, any autogram balance improvement? Uh, what do you want? Uh, to be improved in the autogram but like guys you know when you ask these questions you really have to be specific uh did you see a calabash video yesterday uh to be honest with you uh i used to watch his videos i'm gonna stop watching his videos okay uh i am sorry guys if you want to follow him if you want to uh you know uh watch his videos of course you know uh you're uh, free to do so but i uh i'm not gonna be really uh, f uh watching his videos anymore because at this point i really uh i really think all his uh, goal is to prove that this machine cannot compete with the machines that cost more and if this is the only goal uh, then uh, I'm sorry, but uh, to me, it's really, uh, I mean, I, I don't really need to watch it, okay? Uh, somebody who doesn't even allow, uh, you know, um, comments on, you know, on his videos, I don't know. I mean, I try to communicate with him and all that, but uh, I really don't know. I really don't know. So I, I don't want to watch them anymore, to be honest with you. And, uh, and, we are very confident and right now it's not about one guy doing videos we have right now probably thousands of cu customers around the world who is swinging this machine to me what comes from those users matter the most and all i see is great feedback great feedback many finds okay and uh majority of the people uh being happy now somebody who says oh this is an unfinished machine i'm sorry guys but if somebody makes that comment about the legend uh then i will not really uh take anything seriously after that because to my knowledge everything is being updated whatever he's swinging is also being updated there are uh many things being reported you know about the machine that he's also praising and swinging okay they're also giving updates so it means no machine no machine is released when they're done okay so sorry uh that's why i don't even want to uh, talk about that anymore what about nomads mexico i apply but no response please uh we need some time because we got a lot of submissions uh any other questions what is the current update number it's 1.06 okay when will the legend 2 be out <laughs> i don't think we're gonna have a legend 2 anytime soon i have to upload the micro for this type of customer communications thank you so much we appreciate it uh fantastic machine thank you so much uh i found ground balance doesn't work robert i like you need to you know explain what's not working uh because when th these general comments do not really mean anything for us we don't understand what you mean okay you're the only company that comes out and speak to us all uh will you ever have a six inch coil for simplex we uh we no for the simplex no i don't think so uh when will the update be released in the uk the update will be released on our website tonight uh, very soon so uh, it doesn't matter which country you're in you're going to be able to download it they like you rock thank you so much great job any other questions guys uh any other questions please anything to do with the update or any other questions you had in mind regarding like everything that was going on you know um with the battery with the extra battery uh what else the reset function i think i uh answer them all i'm believing ground balancing is not reliable uh, uh i wouldn't agree with that i'm sorry uh you probably uh you really need to send me a video uh to you know um show me what you really mean because uh ground balancing is working and it's just it's different uh it's done differently than our other machines uh, so hopefully you can uh, um, show us what you mean. 
Listen, as long as the ground effect, that sound is gone, you're good, okay? I think you're focusing too much on the number. Uh, I think that that's uh, what, what I'm seeing. Uh, ground balance works for me and reliable. Here's a customer saying it works and it's reliable. Um, will discrimination hold when changing between modes? Roger, are you referring to the discrimination pattern? Just write yes or no. Um, I mean, if uh, I think it's, it's defaulting back to the C right now, right? The custom, I believe. Uh, but if you guys want it to, you know, want, yeah, you want it to be saved in memory too, I can write that down as a note for the next update if many people think that way. Uh, some people don't take time and use machines uh, to use machines and learn them. Correct. Please, guys, please take your time and learn the machine first. Uh, can you wait and do all updates at once? Uh, yes, we could do that. But to be honest with you, uh, we really uh, wanted to get the beach update out soon. And, and as we were given the beach update, we also, you know, added some other stuff, you know, that we thought, uh, you know, would be beneficial for the users but we do have uh another update coming okay uh i don't know when exactly but uh we have a you know bunch of items but and, and guys please i'm gonna underline this again these updates okay i would say 99 percent of them are being done based on customer requests okay for example uh you know the um i'm just gonna give you an example now the sensitivity level uh, being shown in the target ID section. I mean, this came from users. We we didn't really. I mean, we didn't really need to do this. You know, this is coming from users because some people say they cannot see it well because it's small. And if we could display it in the middle, and we did. So most of these are coming from customers. You know, um, uh, feedbacks and requests. Uh, and others are taking it as, oh, the machine is not finished. Uh, anyway, um, Dilek, on which our update will be on the website? It's going to be 1.06 if that's what you're asking. Can you update in the U.S. now? <laughs> yes, uh, just give me a few minutes. As soon as I'm done with this video, uh, we're probably going to uh, update it. So maybe I should just stop talking and go next to my team and check and if everything is good if the text is all done uh, and approved let me uh, publish this update uh i am looking so much forward to your feedbacks on the update i am confident that uh, almost like all will enjoy it and like it especially the beach hunters uh i love you guys thank you so much and have a great weekend uh, and have legendary hunts and finds. Love you. Bye.